Hi, hello, this is Heiki Sarah. Welcome to the another post. So uh, in this, uh, this is actually for the post that I am writing currently, which is to uh, create a Docker. It's, it talks about uh, the Docker image and how to handle the Docker images and how to create a container from the Docker images. So, uh, so in this video, we are actually practically going to see all the steps that has been discussed in the post you can actually find the document uh, I mean the post link in the YouTube uh, description now let us go ahead now uh, we are actually going to create start from creating a works workspace directory so I actually name my workspace directory as my test Apache just to keep the same convention which I have used in the post now let's go here and um, I have to create uh, whenever let's say that we are creating an Apache website so for a website you need a virtual host file right so we need a virtual host file and we have to uh, name the name of the file is this default website dot conf and we can take the content from here paste it Control D and next we need to create an index.html file I mean for our uh, website something sample simple like it will say welcome to DevOps Junction good to have you here something so uh, uh, if you're not aware uh, I'm happy to announce DevOps Junction is our uh, new brand that we have actually created you can actually reach that uh, to devopsjunction.com it, you will come here you can actually uh, just see all the devops we created it as a uh, you know sub brand for middleware inventory so all the articles which you continue to see in middleware inventory would still be available but you can actually keep devops junction as uh, the name that you could remember you can come uh, devops junction searching for devops related articles you can just search devops junction and you can come here uh, if you search devops junction can come to middleware inventory the second link not the first one so not the blackspot.com you can go for middleware inventory.com slash devops just function come here and then you can come to this URL now let's go back we have created the virtual host file and we have created an index.html file now let's create our docker file the docker file is given here so copy this and paste it so you can actually go through all the lines that I have mentioned so you can actually we are using the base image which is Ubuntu latest version and I have just put my internet name as mine and we are running couple of some couple of commands like uh, installing Apache and creating a document root and uh, copying the file the add command uh, is to copy the file which we have created which is the index.html in the, uh, uh, the virtual host conf file which is how we are actually using add to copy the local file into the container so how did I know this path in the container if you get this question I would like to say that uh, see it is a convention the normal convention of Apache 2 which like uh, they use the same uh, fold, folder structure so I can actually know sites available and sites enabled and uh, uh, it's basically the similar steps that uh, you used to do in a traditional VM so we just have to put it in one by one and we have to use uh, the docker commands and uh, that's all now we change the ownership of the default website.conf file and then at last we have to run a command to enable the website that we actually put it into sites available so the default website is the website name that we just have to put dot conf is not required it will automatically be taken the same file so now finally expose uh, just uh, to say that uh, the container that we are going to create is going to run on port 80 so uh, and uh, the last is cmd command the cmd is uh, the default command that the container is going to use so the default command is uh, hot of the container so as long as the um, how to say as long as the uh, default command is running the container would be alive otherwise it would be stopped now uh, 
uh, we have pasted the docker file as well now let's build a container I mean let's build an image from the docker file so to build an image uh, to create an image from the docker file we have to use docker build hyphen t is to name we wanted to name our image so uh, my test Apache I think that's the name that I have given uh, my Apache image sorry my Apache image is the name that I have given and the dot the last dot is actually indicating the present working directory in Eric's uh, convention so let's do it so yes we are actually yep we did it now we have uh, successfully built my Apache image now let's do this my Apache image image is ready now we can actually list if the images is created by docker con docker image list uh, sorry docker image ls my apache image yep the image is created we just validated it now let us create a container uh, let's start and i mean create and start the container to create and start the container we have to use docker container ren command docker container ren hyphen d is to detach this container from uh, the terminal which otherwise it would be running on the foreground it's more like uh, using the ampersand in unix so uh, hyphen d and uh, i'm just naming this as web server one uh, you can actually uh, it's optional totally optional you, you don't have to name you can just use the container id to manage your container so hyphen name web server one and i'm gonna define i mean i'm just gonna say which image that it has to create my apache image that's all and say enter yep we have got the container id and uh, let's say docker ps to see if the container is running yes the container is running now let's start let's uh, go to the browser come here and just say www.devopsjunction.com uh, so how the dev it is listening on devopsjunction.com it's like uh, very simple I just did a etc host file entry I just pointed my www.devopsjunction.com to the localhost so that I it can actually go there 8080 I've actually oh I think I made a mistake here so I have to actually port forward I have to forward the port 80 inside the container to the outside 8080 otherwise I would not be able to do it so now let's stop this container the one web server one and uh, maybe we have to remove it as well because I want that name web server one uh, uh, just for also to save some space docker rm web server one so i can actually remove this docker ps nothing is running docker psa yep it's not there now lock docker container run t uh, name web server one hyphen p 8080 is my host port which is on mac and 80 is a container port so i am just creating a redirect from the container 80 to the host to the mac 8080 now my apache image that's it now we are fine we are started let's say docker ps yes it's we are running let's hit it yep welcome to devops junction good to have you here so junction is junction spelling is wrong so just mind that um don't mind that so uh, now let's see that we have successfully created a container so as an additional thing if you wanted to just log in and manage your container uh, i have uh, here many people asking how to ssh to the container so you don't actually have to ssh to the container because container is a process you don't have to ssh to it you don't need ssh is the kind of protocol you don't need it so what you can do is you can use the docker cli commands itself docker exec it um the image name uh, sorry the container name it's our one and then bash you just have to say it and then you would be able to get it to the container uh, you can just go here www.html devops function yep we are here 
if you want to make a change you can actually do it in index.html and you can actually go and check the log file as well where log apache2 uh, yeah devops function access.log uh, let's hit something here and just see if it is getting updated mm -hmm. yep it's getting updated maybe we can actually do something like name equal to sarav yep let's hit it you can see this name equal to sarav has come so which means that we are actually uh, doing good and it's working as the way that we expected it to work now uh, if you want to know more, know more about how to SSH and everything so you, actually there is a post docker SSH into container uh, uh, keep middleware inventory if you wanted to keep uh, so to get in as the first suggestion go here you can actually read it read the post so I have to I mean uh, detailedly explained everything uh, in brief like what is uh, the different methods to SSH into the container and everything so uh, just make use of it and stay connected uh, thanks if you want to reach me you can actually uh, use the comment section in YouTube you can actually uh, uh, use the comment section in middlewareinventory.com or you can optionally send an email uh, akserav at middlewareinventory.com see you soon thank you for uh, watching have a great day